Hello, today I'll be showing you how to create your own TXT to CSV file converter. Now what a TXT file is, it's simply an unformatted set of text which you know you can get from anywhere and it is simply what TXT means, it's just got text in it and it's completely unformatted. And what a CSV file is, is that it stands for comma separated values. So what it is, is that every value in the CSV file is separated with a comma. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting a TXT to a CSV file. What I've done is I've gone into the internet and I have um, copied and pasted a quote from Shakespeare, to be or not to be, and I have saved that in Notepad as, as a TXT file. So that's how I got my TXT file. So what we have to do now is convert this so that every word after this or every value has a comma. So how you do that is firstly you've got to open it in Python and by doing that and how you, and how you do that is to type in f equals open and then the name of the txt file which is to be or not to be and then add the extension onto the end and I've equated that to f and then next thing you need to do is you need to be able to tell Python to read that txt file so I've typed in um, x equals f which relates to the txt file dot read lines so now python is reading the txt file when you run it that's what will happen and then now simply below i've created an empty list using square brackets and that is our setup that is our txt file loaded and our empty list ready to have to be appended with um, comma separated with value separated by a comma. The next thing to do is to iterate in the t within the txt file and then replace the values so that it can separate each word with a comma. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to use the replace function. So how you do that is you in the for loop you type in i dot replace and uh, in the when you open the brackets, it's the old, so it's the existing um, format you want. And then after the, you put a comma, you put the new format that you want. So what you're going what you're going to replace, and with what you're going to replace it. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I've done is I firstly taken out the commas because in TXT files you can still get um, Quant you know, quantities over a thousand separated with a thousand separator which in most cases it's a comma so what I want to do is get rid of that comma to stop to avoid any confusion because I don't want that thinking that's that two that's two words when actually it's technically one or one value so to speak so first I've got rid of that and then what I've done is I've put the commas back in but at the end of every word and I run a for loop to iterate it through each word in the text and then finally at the end when it's got rid of commas and added commas to um, where I want them it's going to append each value into the blank list I created earlier and then hopefully as mentioned earlier it's going to run through very quickly the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a separate file which is going to be our export file and um, so that you can see the before and after so what, how this is going to work is we're going to use the csv.writer function and then within the writer function we're going to create a writable file so exactly the same as the open um, code we used earlier except we're going to create a new file and then we're going to give it a comma w property which means writable so we're going to, by having the W, we're going to make it a writable file. And then quite simply, we set our, set our delimiter to comma. And then we're going to put the quoting as to quote all. Now what quote all means is that it's going to include everything. Everything that is in that TXT file, we want to include it. So that's what quote all is. There is some really good documentation on this, so if you want to um, play around with different types of quotes or different properties within this writer option, or even just play around with the CSV package, then I recommend looking at the documentation first. 
moving back to this. So after we've created our new export file, we're going to write our txt file in the new comma format using the write row function csv and then we're going to what we're going to write row is we're going to write it with our well our now field list and then the output should be as follows so if we run it and then we type in export yeah see um, sometimes this happens so because there was text in it originally what's happened is that it's cleared the text so what we do is if we run it again and then reopen this there we have it to be or not to be so it, it so if there's text in there originally it does become a bit funny but if you just run it again then it, it's worked for me 100% of the times uh, so this is our new format notice that each value is separated with a comma and that we have uh, essentially have it as a str string formatted you know inside quotation marks if that bothers you then you you can get rid of the quotation marks but for me actually it's quite helpful to you know as it signals you know the beginning and the end of the text so let me show you before and after so before we had this to be or not to be and afterwards we have this separated by commas so this is fine so th this is a smaller text yeah, we could have probably quicker maybe to go through and just put a comma in at the end of each one but what happens if we had something much bigger we had a much bigger word um, set of text to deal with and that is what we're going to be running through now so instead of having to be or not to be let's have one of trump's famous speeches so if we go into the folder where all my tutorials are saved this is one of trump's speeches this was the one he gave i believe uh when he was announcing that he was going for presidency i'm 100 sure uh, apologies for the writing it's, Anyway, it's pretty relevant in this case, but notice that you know there are uh, it's it's uh, not comma separated values. There are commas in here anyway. We need to get rid of those. They'll provide you know problems later on, and you know there are values in here as well which we need to get rid of the thousand separator. There we go, sixty four thousand right there. Uh, where did I see it? there 24,000 here you see you need to get rid of that but anyway so what we're going to do is running the same formula again run the code but on a much bigger text so let's run this and let's see what we have run it open it with notepad and notice here that now we have our thousands separator gone see that 24,000 thing is gone and notice that each value now is separated by a column uh, by a comma notice that um, we have a comma here at the end um, yeah you know um, that is a problem you can get rid of that although it doesn't seem to bother me too much but if it bothers you then you can you know, do a replace function or you can split there are multiple ways to transform this further if you um, do not like that at all so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, feel free to check out more of my tutorials on my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe thanks very much for watching <laughs>